Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I decided to do a really pretty spring inspired eye. I also wanted to use one of my palettes that I haven't gotten to use that I got at Gen Beauty. This is a look that I came up with. If you guys like this look, then continue watching. I haven't had an opportunity to use all the things that I got in my Gen Beauty bag. So I decided to use one of the palettes that came in there and this is the NYX palette. And this has a lot of really, really pretty colors. I feel like this blue color is what I'm going to use because it's like a really pretty spring color and I'm really into that right now. So we're going to use that one. I haven't actually used this palette. I did swatch it. So I've actually put my fingers in there, but I have not actually worn it. So today's going to be almost like a first impressions and like a makeup tutorial. So hopefully we end up liking it. And as you guys can tell, I've already done my eyebrows and I primed my eyes because my eyebrows take so long. I haven't gotten them done in about, I don't know, six months. So they're kind of hard to work with. Usually when you get them done, they're already shaped for you and you just kind of fill them in. So it takes me a little bit longer to actually do them now. But let's go ahead and get started on the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to go in with one of the lighter shades in the palette. And that's this shade right here. It's like a really soft brown. It almost looks like it has a little bit of purple in it, but we're going to have to make it work. So I'm going to start off by putting this on the outer part of my crease and just going to buff it. I'm also using this as my transition color. This color is actually really pretty on its own. I feel like you could do a really, really soft look just with this. Wow. I like this color. The next color we're going to go in with is this dark brown color right here. And we're going to use this in the crease. So I'm just going to put this right in the crease. Luckily, the color that I used prior to this is in the same like family tone. So it blends really well together. I feel like I could do a look just, just with these two colors. I think this looks really pretty. A lot of people don't really like to spend a lot of time on makeup or wear a lot of makeup. So you could totally just stop here. Just make sure everything is blended out. And if you want to deepen it a little bit just add a little bit more product like i am doing now and this brush i'm using what is this a 217 from mac and then i'm going to go back in with my with my morphe m441 brush it's just like a fluffy brush i really like their fluffy brushes i have another one that's like a rose gold handle and that one's really really nice it's pretty much the same thing as this but a little bit more expensive because it's rose gold they always get us with those rose golds so if you want, you could totally just stop here and then continue with your face makeup. I think it looks really pretty, um, especially for somebody that's like in a hurry or like just doesn't wear a lot of makeup. This is perfect. Um, but if not, we're going to move on to the next step. I wanted to find my crease just a little bit more, so I'm going to go in with this angled brush and I'm going to use the same brown color that I used prior. And I'm just going to put this right in the crease. It's gonna be like a lazy cut crease. It's not gonna be like a real cut crease, but I'm, I just really want this part defined. So when I add the bright color, and then I'm gonna go back in with my 217 with no product, whatever product's already on there, and I'm just gonna buff that out very lightly. And then going back in with my fluffy brush, I'm just going to buff out everything above the crease. I wanna clean it up a little bit more so when I add the pop of blue, it just goes on really clean. So I'm just going to use my, I'm using a 242 brush by MAC, just using my concealer to clean up what area I want bare. Might look like a cut crease, but this is literally like, I'm doing it as lazy as possible. And then I'm going to stop like right here, pretty much where my pupil ends, I'm going to stop the product because I still want it to be like a smoky eye kind of, you know? Then I'm going to grab my fluffy brush with no product again and just kind of buff the edge of this. So it's not so harsh. After applying that concealer on my eyelid, I have come to the realization that my eyeball sack is not as taut as it used to be, which is giving me a little bit of anxiety. So I'm gonna use this 239 brush by MAC, and I'm gonna go in with the blue shade, this one. And we're gonna really pack it onto the brush. And then I'm just going to kind of pat it onto my eyelid, just where the light part was. So just pat, 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 and then you could do little strokes. You want this part to be as opaque as possible. 
And don't worry about the mess. We're definitely gonna clean that up. So don't, don't worry about that. I'm gonna go back in with the dark brown and I'm gonna deepen the outer corner of this eyeball. So don't go above the crease, just stay below the crease. Just gonna buff it out with my other brush. Just make sure everything is blended. I found this really beautiful color by Inglot and it's number 45. I feel like this color will go really, really well. I'm gonna add this right on top. It is a loose pigment, so I'm just going to put it on my flat brush and then I'm gonna tap it onto the green part just to try to get all the product on and then I'm gonna swipe it to make sure it's really packed on. That's so pretty. And on the edge, I'm kind of just diffusing it so it kind of like melts and blends together, you know? You know? With any makeup wipe, just go ahead and clean away whatever debris or fallout you have. I'm not gonna go too far out on this side because I want this area to be a little bit blown out. So I'm just kind of cleaning up directly under my eye. Before I move on to the face, I do want a little bit of glitter. I just decided. Um, so I'm gonna use this glitter here by NYX. It has like blue and green reflex. So I think this will look really pretty with this eye. I have this little dish here and I'm just gonna put some glitter in here. And I'm literally just putting a tiny bit because I don't want to take away from what we already have going on here. So I'm gonna use my Violet Voss glue adhesive. And I just want to put it in the middle. Just a little shine in the middle. And I'm just going to use my finger. Okay, now I'm going to move on to skincare, which is very, very important. My skin has been really weird lately. It's been breaking out. It's been kind of dry. So I'm going to actually use this essential oil here by MAC. And this is the first one they actually ever came out with, and I still have it. So I'm just going to put just one drop on each side of my face. And I'm just gonna rub that in. It smells so good. You guys know me, you guys know I love essential oils. And my lips have been really, really dry too. My lips are consistently dry. It doesn't matter what season it is, my lips are so dry. So I'm gonna put on this lip conditioner by Jouer. I actually got this at Gem Beauty as well. And I keep one in my purse and I keep one at home so I can always have it on deck because this stuff feels really good. And next I'm gonna go in with some eye cream. And this eye cream is by, I might be saying this wrong, Kate Berkey. It looks like this. I am using two fingers, but my touch is very, very light. Next, I'm gonna go in with my Fix Plus, and this is my little travel one. I put a couple of drops of, what was it, lavender and eucalyptus in here because I love that scent. So I just did that, and I'm gonna spray my face. And I'm gonna let this soak in and dry for just a second, and then we'll move on to foundation and concealer. All right, moving on to foundation, I am gonna use this Fluid Sheer Giorgio Armani. I feel like it's like a highlight, but I'm just gonna do literally one little drop into my foundation. So I have my little dish here. I'm gonna do like little, one little squirt. So it's just like that. And then I'm gonna just mix my foundation with it. And I use the Born This Way by Too Faced in the shade Light Beige. I feel like that shade was literally made for me. It like matches my skin so well. So this is what it looks like here. And I'm just gonna get my brush and just kind of swirl it around. And this should give me like a really nice youthful glow. Okay, I'm gonna put my hair back for this. Okay, so I'm just going to apply this to my skin and then we'll go in with our beauty blender and blend everything out. Okay, so I've applied it now to my face and I'm just gonna go in with this little blender ball from Pure and I'm just going to blend everything out. I feel like the key to getting a good application, a foundation application, is to really spend time on blending your foundation out because you don't want it to look like it's just sitting on your skin. You want it to look like skin. And really push it into your hairline to make sure you don't have like any little lines. And next for concealer, I've been using the Tarte, I think it's called Maracuda. I'm so terrible at pronouncing anything. Concealer, and this is in the shade Medium Sand. I love this concealer because it's super thick and I love the color of it. I feel like it hydrates under my eye because it almost stays like wet. You have to really make sure to set this concealer. So once I've set the product, I'm gonna go in with my blender, beauty blender, blender ball, whatever we call it, and just going to buff everything out. So I'm gonna go ahead and set my concealer now and lately I've been doing a mix of two different powders. I've been using this powder here. This is the Studio Sculpt by MAC in the shade Medium. And I have also been using, this is also by MAC, and this is in Warm Rose, the mineralized finish. 
It seems kind of like a weird mix, but I don't know, it just works for me because I have dark circles. So I'm gonna go in with the warm rose first and just pat this onto my under eye. I feel like the pink in the powder helps with the darkness under my eyes. And like it highlights, but it's not overwhelmingly highlighted, you know? So now I'm gonna go in with the medium and I'm just going to pounce this product onto my face. I just don't like to do swiping because I feel like it moves the product. So I always prefer just to do pouncing. Unless I feel like the product is building up somewhere, then I'll do a little swipe. Now I'm gonna go ahead and set my entire face and I'm using a MAC 150 brush. This is like the biggest brush they have with the mineralized powder in medium golden. And once again, just pouncing the product, powder the nose. I'm gonna move on to contouring my face. Just because I haven't used this in such a long time and it cost me a million dollars, I'm going to go ahead and use it today. This is the Chanel Soleil Tan de Chanel. I know, it's super fancy. So this is just one of their bronzers. It's a very interesting texture. It's like a mousse, but like a cream. I don't know. So I'm just gonna use my dual fiber brush. I'm just gonna pack that on and I'm just going to move on to contouring. I'm kind of just placing the product where I want it to be right now. And then I will go back in and buff everything out. One thing I do like about this product, it does blend really, really nice. I mean, it basically just melts into my skin. I barely have to do anything. And now I'm just blending everything out. Well, I just realized I didn't use a face primer. So I'm gonna move on to this Bahama Mama bronzer just to kind of deepen and set the bronze that I already have on. I'm just lightly buffing this out. It's starting to look like I just got back from Hawaii. I'm really liking this. Going in with my favorite discontinued blush. So annoying. I'm just gonna pounce this onto my cheekbones. Oh, this is in the shade Buff. If you can find it, it is one of my favorite colors. This is it here. Um, it just got discontinued, so stores might still have it unless they pulled it off the shelf. Next, I'm gonna move on to lashes, and this is the Benefit Their Real Mascara. I haven't used this mascara yet. Actually, I have, I lie, I have used it once. I don't really like using expensive mascara, especially when I'm just popping lashes on, because you really can't see your lashes, so I prefer to use drugstore mascara. Normally I'll use the Voluminous Mascara by L'Oreal. While my lashes continue to dry, I'm gonna use the Tarteless Pro Palette. We're all very familiar with this. And I'm gonna use the shade Strobe. It's this one up here. These highlights are really pretty, except for they're not as opaque as I wish they would be. So I'm actually gonna get my Fix Plus and I'm gonna spray it. Hopefully this will help it a little bit. And I'm just going to tap the product on and then I'm just going to Oh, oh, what's happening? I feel like, is there black on my fucking brush? <sighs> Dear Lord. Okay, there's something on my brush. This is fantastic. This is great, you know? Okay, I just had to fix that really quick because apparently my brush had black on it. This brush does not look like it has black on it. So I'm gonna go back in with strobe and I'm gonna, so I have strobe and I'm just going to, of course, fix plus. Lightly put this on the high points of my cheeks. Go in with a little bit more. I'm just kind of staying in one area and just doing like wiggling just so it kind of blends. And then once it's all blended, I kind of just go around it. And then of course, I'm gonna put it on the tip of my nose and on the bridge of my nose and keep it bow. We wanna be glowing. It's almost summer. Gotta get inspired. And I'm just gonna put a tiny bit above the brow. So it looks like my lashes are pretty much almost dry. So I'm gonna go ahead and pop them on before they get too dry. And I always like to start right in the center of the eye and then pull down on the corners. And then pinch the lashes. These are the Envy lashes in the style Huntington Beach, the ones that I wear pretty much every day. Just be careful when using tweezers, you don't stab your eye, because I've done that so many times. Or pinch your eyelid. So I'm gonna go ahead and smoke out my bottom lash line. I'm gonna use the dark brown color that we used earlier. And I am using a 239 brush by MAC. It's just like a flat brush, but it's kind of fluffy. It's gonna help me really blend out this product. And with the first soft brown color we used, I'm gonna go ahead and get a little bit of that on my brush. And I'm just going to drag it directly underneath so it blends a little bit nicer. 
You always want it to look kind of diffused. And then moving on to mascara on bottom lashes, I'm gonna use the same Their Real Mascara. Next, I'm gonna go back in with strobe and I'm just going to put this in the inner corners of my eye. So I kind of have a bolder eye. I'm gonna go in with a more neutral or nude lip. First, I'm gonna start off with Bold Bear and I'm just gonna line my lips. The next time I go in with Dosa Colors Sand, I feel like Boldy Bear was a little too pink, so I'm gonna go in with Derivish. This is also by MAC. And to finish the look, I'm gonna go ahead and use my Fix Plus and spray this all over my face. That is the final look. I hope you guys enjoyed my tutorial. Hit that little notification bell so you guys know when I do post a video. Don't forget to give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't yet. Love you guys so much. But I wanted to put in my contact.